The pregnancies of princesses are often shrouded in secrecy, requiring the involvement of many individuals. Royal expert Hermann Lindqvist sheds light on how pregnancies within the royal family are managed behind closed palace doors, offering a glimpse into the world of discretion, tradition, and medical considerations. The Swedish Royal House's Approach According to Lindqvist, the Swedish Royal House benefits from a highly loyal and professional staff. Notably, Princess Sophia and Prince Carl Philip, members of the Swedish royal family, have three children, with the youngest, Prince Julian, born in the spring of 2021. What made Prince Julian's arrival particularly noteworthy was the fact that the pregnancy was only officially confirmed in mid-December, nearly three months before his birth. The circumstances surrounding the pregnancy were unique, occurring during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Need for Discretion This penchant for secrecy around royal pregnancies is not without reason. As Lindfist explains, the delay in announcing pregnancies serves medical purposes. Even during routine pregnancies, there can be unforeseen complications, and the utmost caution is exercised. By keeping the pregnancies private for an extended period, the royal mothers can go through the critical early months without the added scrutiny and attention that comes with an official announcement. Concealment Strategies Concealing a growing pregnancy bump is a key element in maintaining the secrecy. The choice of clothing plays a pivotal role, but it is crucial for only a select few individuals at the royal court to be privy to the confidential information. The Role of Loyal Palace Staff Lindqvist expresses confidence in the discretion of the Swedish royal staff, emphasizing that they distinguish themselves from other royal courts. The staff at the Swedish royal house are known for their unwavering loyalty, and they are entrusted with protecting the secrets of the royal family. The Future of Royal Expansions In conclusion, Lindqvist refrains from speculating on whether there will be more additions to the royal family. While he doesn't foresee a significant increase in the number of children, he acknowledges that it is a matter that remains uncertain, as royal families often keep their plans for expanding the family a closely guarded secret. The discreet approach to royal pregnancies is not only steeped in tradition but also serves as a protective measure for the well-being of both the expectant mothers and their unborn children.